Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Now, today, we'll be taking a look at the Brigade's Law, which I recently crafted. Now, this is the gun you get from the Season of Plunder. Oh, you managed to get five deep sites while doing trials last weekend. In any case, what I chose was Enhanced Vault Shot, reloading this weapon after defeating a target over or recharging this weapon for an improved your short duration, causing it to jolt on its next hit. Uh, with enhanced perpetual motion, gain more stability, handling and reload speed while I'm in motion. This is always nice. I went for a max range one. I feel like stability build on this gun too would have been e probably more consistent. Because this does have a really bad recoil. I mean, uh, it's it climbs. What I mean, the recoil climbs quite a bit. But I went that rise for more range, full bore for even more range. It does decrease my stability. I, do, I did switch to a counterbalance mod stock instead of Icarus Grip, because the kickback on the recoil is kind of bad, to be honest. In any case, uh, it's got 55 range, 55 stability, 48 handling, reload speed 43, aim assistance 59. About average on all of the stats, basically. 12 zoom, airborne effectiveness 14. Now, a swap between the Forerunner, which is an awesome exotic. The Catalyst is kind of wasted, though, but still. It's a really, really strong sidearm. I swap between that one and my Wastelander M5, which is from the previous video. Now, I'll be using this Arc Strider for this video. Uh, Arc Staff abilities are here. Blink, this one to blow, Arc Grenade aspects. Gonna try to jolt as much, uh, much as possible. Fragments. Which is also why I'm using the Elias Handshake Exotic. Gauntlets. Using your arc melee ability or being hit by melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely melee counterpunch that will heal you. In certain situations, this is nice, but it does require to get hit by a melee or kill somebody with a melee. Or use my arc ability, basically. Uh, mods are here. Quick charge for the shotgun, of course. Now, the reason we're here at the Enclave is I'm going to show you the potential roles you can decide to put, perks you can put on. Uh. So, instead of Vault Shot, you could have, for example, go get, went for an Enhanced Range Finder, aiming, adjusting this weapon, increasing its effective range, zoom, magnification, improved handling, increased projectile velocity, while aiming rocket launchers, grenade launchers, and bows. This I didn't know. The last perk of increased velocity for projectile weapons. It's actually kind of handy though, I suppose. So that could have been a good option instead of Vault Shot. Uh, Adiago, uh, potentially too. It's a 450 RPM sidearm, so it shoots very quickly. It's full auto, and it's only 15 shots in the magazine. So, running a higher mag, something I'd definitely consider. But it's... But of course, got Ajajo could be good, and also Swashbuckler is one of the better damage perks when you fully take advantage of it. Uh, instead of enhanced perpetual motion, well, then you got threat detector since this is a close range uh, weapon, 55 range. This is kind of handy to have enhanced threat detector. Or perhaps Pugilis for a melee, sir, melee focus build. Especially on Titans, I do believe this could have been better. You could, of course, went for Fluted Barrel for more stability, or perhaps even Small Bore might be the better of the options. To get better handling and stability, you, use, you lose a little bit of range, but I think actually I might swap the Small Bore afterwards. Instead of Acurize, Steady Rounds is always good for more stability. And more airborne effectiveness. Then you have Flared Mag, well. I extend the Mag for bigger Mag. I went for the ranged Masterwork. Could of course have a stability monster work, but uh, yeah, this is what I went for. This is this is what we'll be using. Right then, let's hop into some PvP, shall we? I don't know what the fuck's going on with matchmaking, but the past few matches, my entire team left, and the penalty the penalty doesn't seem to be helping. Zone. 
Now I'm rocking both a shotgun and a sidearm. It's gonna be a bit risky. Oh damn it! Holy shit! I'm not used to blink at all. I shot him up his ass. Oh, I thought I killed him on the first blow, but apparently not. Counter, but only for a little while. Holy shit, I made it. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Oh, for real, teammate? <laughs> I was... Oh. That went really well. That push was kind of a suicide mission, but we made it work. came in rushing and he almost did it but there's 15 shots in the mag which is kind of a small amount backup mag you could run but oh, Jesus how the hell are you not dead but now you are Absolutely no chance at that range. Nice. It does not have the range of other sidearms, this sidearm. Despite it having faster fire rate, it's still kind of rough. Is that our well? Yes, it is. I got lucky, Jesus. And had a lot of help from my teammates. He's dead. Nice. Ah, 
are missing a lot of my shots. But it's hard to control the recoil, which is why I put on a counterbalance stock mod instead of Icarus Grip or something like that. Oh, I didn't even aim at him, but yeah, I just gambled on the blast radius was gonna fuck him up. And it did! Really? <laughs> what was your what was your plan, mate? You zone B. Zone he was kind of trapped, though. That was a chase that took way too long. Nice. Oh, that guy still got heavy. Oh, he's dead now, by the way. Some team shots right there. Love it. That was some. Oh. That was a ball zip move. But did he hit me behind the wall? What the fuck? was on a streak. Damn it, that could have gone really well. Could have gotten them all if it, he hadn't come up. How did I escape? Mm. I nearly got that, but yeah. Holy shit, that worked. That worked really well. <laughs> oh. oh, three kill. Oh, fuck. Got him. I do got Volt shot, but I don't have anybody to shoot at. Nice work, teammate. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. 
Oh. Jesus, you came in in the perfect time. <laughs> Luckily, there was only one. Usually, the whole team comes up from that point. It's been a long while since we had a decent map. The map rotation absolutely sucks. Bow kind of fucked, fucked, fucked up there, Colonel Coin Master. God damn it, I can't even speak anymore. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, that was the exotic perp counter from something. Oh, he's gonna be a little bit mad. <laughs> Is nice. Not gonna pretend that it isn't. I might be fucked. Your enemy is pushing for victory. Punish them. Nice. There we go. Are you say FK? So, that is all I got time for today, lads. Now, I'll admit, it's not great, but it's not horrible. I mean, I, I, I'm gonna have to play with it as a whore, but it's not the best sidearm. The best sidearm you can craft in a game, legendary, of course, that is Drang. Without a doubt, that's Drang. No questions about it. Now, this is a fun one to be certain with, but I do not believe it's gonna be meta anytime soon. I uh, forgot to mention the right hook origin trait. Dealing melee damage gives this weapon increased target acquisition and range for a short period of time. Dealing melee damage again extends this effect. So right hook is actually kind of awesome for this specific build as well. But I want, what I'm trying to say, it, it's good, but it's not great. And it's not horrible, but it's not awesome. The kickback of the recoil is, the recoil is my main problem with it. It might be better on a controller user, probably, for the added aim assist, specifically, because it's kind of hard aim. At least I have to counter it with my mouse quite a bit, because it's the recoil direction is very climbing, it's very vertical. 
So you're gonna have to counter it while you're shooting with it. Otherwise, all of the bullets will go above your opponent's head or body. So yeah, all in all, not great, not horrible, about average, but still, it might be even fun, more fun in PVE to be honest, especially with wall shot. I didn't feel like I, like I. Uh, Enjoyed the benefits that Vulture has too many times in certain situation. It is kind of handy, but I don't feel like I was giving that much advantage when I had it procked, to be honest. I usually died. But yeah. So, that is all I got time for today, lads. Leave a like if you did, if you did comment down below to tell me, tell me what you think and what is your favorite sidearm build. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and for now, good night.